All right, I'm doing a quick unboxing and installation of a new 4 terabyte hard drive that I just bought. I've actually got one of these in another computer and uh, I don't think I actually did a video on it. Um, but this one is is uh, strictly for backup files. I've got some older IDE hard drives. Oh man, they're probably pushing six years old and I feel it's time I need to go ahead and get the files off and move them over to a bigger drive and I'll have some more space. So yeah, already popped it open and uh, they even throw in a little hundred dollar wine voucher which you know you gotta buy you know, hundred sixty dollars worth and it's limited time only and some other stuff at uh, you know some weird website. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do it with one hand here. So yeah, good packing. Some of the new egg. Alright. Four terabyte. This is a purple version. These are mostly for apparently security surveillance. And uh, I'll be honest, I bought the first one by accident, but I've been using it in my hard drive or my hard drive, my computer for the last seven months, and it works just fine. And the computer this one's gonna be going in is pretty much running 24-7 anyway. So don't necessarily need it for surveillance, but simply for data storage. So, cool. Yep, this is a Western Digital Purple. Uh, if I can get this ripped open. Let me see. Yep, I need two hands. Hold on. There you go. Four terabyte, 64 megabyte cache. Um, I believe it's 7200 RPM, you know, roundabout running speed. Uh, little silica gel pack, but yeah, WD Purple surveillance hard drive. Um, yeah, like I said, this is probably mostly for surveillance, but it's just as good in a desktop computer and uh, even external enclosure if it'll handle a four terabyte. So, all right, well, let me get my um, transfer kit that I'll be transferring files because I'm not going to put this in any enclosure. I'm going to transfer some files off a computer and then uh, load it and then well, actually install it into my main computer once everything is loaded that I want. Yep, here it is, my USB 2.0 to IDE and SATA cable uh, transfer device. So, uh, there we go. Yep, power plug, got the SATA connection. USB connection for transferring the files. Um, yep, the connections for the hard drive itself. So, yep. And then there's the connector. So, yeah, this is just plug in uh, if it was an IDE. But I don't have that. Like I said, I'm going to transfer everything off of the hard drives before I remove them. So, yeah, I won't need to hook any of those up but yep yeah, so I'm gonna get this all connected and then I'll commence the transferring but I'm not gonna record all that that's gonna take quite a bit of time because I've probably got an estimated well let's see the two IDE drives are 500 gig and 750 gig and they're pretty much full so um, yeah so that's what uh, one and a quarter terabytes and then I've got some other files on another computer that's probably close to 750 gigs as well. So, yeah, I might have uh, close to two terabytes of data being transferred. So it may take quite some time. But let me hook this up real quick. All right, there we go. SATA uh, connections, power, and data transfer cable. And then this is the little thingamajig that'll monitor the transfer or actually it's a little adapter and then there's the USB to plug in to the computer that'll be pulling the files off of so yep I'll go ahead and probably get this connected up and then I'll commence to transfer in all right we're connected in the USB and it's installing the device so that's good all right, so I'm doing this on my big 55-inch TV, so this is fun. Let's go to Administrative Tools, Computer Management, if I can film it and do this at the same time. 
Alright, storage. R. Disk management. Let's see what comes up. Yep, it's found it. So let it do its little formatting, blah blah blah. Okay. Uh, there's the four. Actually, this is this is one that's got the four terabyte. Yeah, this is the other one, disc two. That's four terabyte. And now I got to remove that uh, separate partition because I want to combine them. So let me remember how to do that. There we go. Okay, I couldn't remember. Convert to GPT disc is the option when you click. Uh, when you click to here. It's not listed now, but yeah, it said convert to GPT or convert it to a master boot record disk, which we don't really need. Convert to dynamic disk. I don't really think that's necessary unless, let me see, let me go ahead and do a new simple volume. Yeah. Next. Yeah, next. Assign letter G. Yeah, that's fine. I'll change it later. Quick format is fine, and blah blah blah. Finish. So we'll let it do its thing. All right, formatting for four terabytes. Who knows? I'd imagine it'd still be pretty quick. Yep, done. That took about 10, 15 seconds. <laughs> All right, good. So now I'm ready to start transferring files. Okay, yeah, first folder is 515 gigs, so yeah, six and a half hours. Yep, this will be taking some time. So when we finish, I'll probably move it to the other computer and transfer other files. Yeah, real quick while I'm transferring files, this is just some generic version of a you know, file transfer device you know, for different uh, hard drives, laptop, IDE, SATA. So, we use for recovery and all that. No, no actual name that I can see, other than it came from Cables Unlimited. Um, yep, little adapter, you know, what it does, specifications, USB 2.0 interface plug and play, IDE, 44 pin, connect 2.5 inch IDEs hard drives, uh, 40 pin hard drives, 3.5 inch, or IDE, uh, device and then the SATA connection two and a half or three and a half inch supports 400, 480 megabits high speed uh, transfer and 12 megabits full speed external power supply makes it run more stable and reliable red and green light indicators supports all the old stuff Windows 98 uh, second edition, Me 2000, XP 2003, Vista 7, and a Mac OS. So, yeah, I guess anything above Windows 7, this may not work. So, yeah, keep that in mind whenever I, I'm forced to upgrade to Windows 8. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. Well, after a full 24 hours, I mean literally, I've about finished. And that interesting, just a little side note here, four terabytes, you're only, you only have three point, uh, basically three and two-thirds of usable space. Well, uh, gets shafted there, I guess. And, uh, yeah, so once it's all said and done, I'm just under two terabytes of files that I've transferred over. So, yay, now it's time to install it. Alright, so it's these three hard drives right here that I'm taking out, replacing it with the one 4 terabyte. I guess I'll probably just install it right in the middle where the fan is. This fan, I might as well take out because it's about locked up anyway. I got it set up on the outside here to blow air in, but yeah, it's about wore out and locked up, locking up, so I'll just remove it as well. But yeah, it's kind of filthy in here. I might do a quick dusting, but I need to get these hard drives swapped out. Well, there they are. There's one Seagate. Don't know the date code, but I'm assuming it's around 2009. Because this Western Digital, 500 gig. It's a IDE. 
if you can even see it through the light and IDE pins and this one's date coded 2009 February yeah, February 9 so 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 so yeah we're looking at about six years not bad and this one's a little bit newer this is another Seagate 750 it's a Santa I'm gonna hold on to it so it's not that old but uh, yeah so there you go three in place of one four terabytes so uh, I'll go ahead and install it all right it is in there so I guess I'll go ahead and fire it up make sure everything's working I can't keep the light on this and film at the same time let's see yeah I uh, even took that fan out and there's the old IDE cable, so that's the last of my IDE hard drives. Alright, let's we'll see if everything fires up. Well, it's installing the device. Uh, R. It's installed, alright. So now, check. Uh, searching for content, I don't want it to do that. I want it to see. Yeah. Yeah, come on. Yeah, we're there. Four terabyte. All right, everything is installed. I got a mess to clean up here, so I'm not going to waste time filming all that because I got to do some more cleaning and then put the panels back on and store these hard drives. I know I'm going to keep that SATA one. These other two, I'll probably, I got a friend of mine that I think is interested in them. So, all right, I'm going to wrap this up. So, hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.